region. so crazy that they've got of the let's say is top five UK is it Peli, Bloom, Emas, Lugi, and maybe Curry? You could yeah. say. I don't know who else might, might be fifth. Yeah. How many of those are EOE? There's Bloom's EOE, Peli's EOE, Lugi's EOE. Yeah. Very scary. It is a very, very right. scary time. So, interesting to see. Which Pyramithra. character do you see? Yes, Pyramithra. <laughs> I, I think the only time I've seen Emas as Pyramithra was, I think, a recent meltdown. I think he went Pyramithra against Peli. I might be wrong with that, but it was. Uh, he's definitely gone Pyramithra at the London Weekly. So I've not seen it before. Let's uh, be curious that he's done that instead of Joker. He's tried the truth. Yeah, it's curious, particularly on a big stage like this. I feel like, you know, when you get to these bigger nationals, you do tend to stick with what you know. You tend to stick with what you're most comfortable with. But the fact that, obviously, you know, they've played quite a few times and clearly Pyromithra is the one for Sonic. You know, obviously Mithra Speed being able to keep up with Sonic in neutral as well. Yeah, Mithra is... Uh, if you're going to have a secondary in the Arsenal, I think Pyromithra's not bad. Um, but yeah, as you say, particularly Mithra, obviously the speed. The, she's like Sheik with a sword, basically. She's yeah, something literally. To suspect. But I think some, I think there was there's going to be slight. Remember, I've, I've heard from Jokers before that Sonic Jokers are kind of annoying. Yeah. Um, I'm not quite sure of these two set count, but um, yeah, yeah, I guess the, the Pyramithra makes sense in this because Pyramithra are really good. Yeah, but we can see it already. You know, Pelly's got a very very slight lead here. Uh, of course, the sheer ridiculous skill power of Pyro means that, you know, that lead can go away in the blink of an eye. But what was funny, with about five seconds ago, we saw, like, the uh, the uh, Mithra, sorry, not Mithra, the Pyro side B, you know, this sort of uh, yeah, this yeah. blazing end yes. the side B. Yeah, exactly. And Peli is actually able to use the spin dash invincibility if he has time to get through that. Not many characters will be able to do nope. that. So I don't know how used to that Emacs will be, but we'll wait and see. Yeah, and sometimes we you got to hold shield. Yeah, and you can see how both these players are, you know, they like to hold on to their leads. They are very, very, they can be very passive when they want to be. And we can see it already, you know, nearly two minutes gone on the clock and just ridiculously high percent from both of these players. Just, throw, just throw it out. <laughs> they can't kill each other. They can't. That did it. No way you can. Yeah. There we go. Just tickles with the forward air, sends him flying at 190. Yeah. And that's the thing. Now, I mean, the thing is that is Opelli is at high enough damage where, like, just the one raw hit, particularly from Pyra. However, it is always the thing of do I stay Pyra and just keep losing neutral? Or do I switch back to Mithra? I feel like at this percent you would want to go Mithra, but again, Emas is going to know better. Yeah, it's cute. I've actually seen we've seen quite a bit of Pyra from um, from Emas. I guess the strength of Pyra Mithra is usually attributed to, to Mithra, but you see that that area that was the down air. Yeah, of course. Strong. Oh, and that's the thing, Pelly. Pelly is so good at catching these recoveries. He knows the exact timing to get around the hitbox of the side B and then just get like the meatiest punish possible. I think this must be, today's the day I've seen Pelly get so many of those uh, sort of offstage forward air kills, just reading the, the timing and the positioning of his opponent trying to get back to ledge and killing them at quite early percent. We saw it against Curry. We've seen it again against Demas. Full stock up pretty much. Yeah, and this is where things can get really, really scary because Pelly can just obviously hang back. It is the classic, you know, you don't approach with the lead. Rule number one, I swear. Yeah, and <laughs> Pelly is a big advocate for that rule very much. But then at the same time, I don't know, he, you know, he's, he's approaching here and there. He's sort of mixing up his pace. I think that is throwing Emas off quite a bit. Yeah, I don't think we've seen Emas really use the, um, the Mithra or the Pyramithra. Much of this oh, oh my God. God. That, just get punched. He was trying to get off that platform desperately and just sort of held in and yeah and it was ready for it. ridiculous just ridiculous i mean that was game one i would say like it's hard isn't it yes. when you've been clearly yeah, you've been playing joker which is actually quite a tent like joker's obviously very strong but like there's a reason we don't see there's a reason we see like eight robs in genesis top yeah. eight and we don't see any jokers True. it's because sometimes it's just the the execution and the game plan is not straightforward like even though the tools are strong like using them to the best of someone's ability is a yeah. question. And even with Pyramithra, like they're, they're straightforward in some senses, but when you go up against Peli with his main Sonic, we'll see. So I'm curious, do you think he'll switch or I we'll see? It's a best of five. So it I'm is a best of five. I'm not too sure. I think we'll probably see a switch at some point, yeah. whether it be this game two or if he ends up going down for the third game, he goes over to the Joker. I feel yeah. like now is the better time to do it because at least if you've got like, yeah. you can gauge both. And then, yeah, it's, it's one of those where I feel like if you're trying to sort of juggle between two characters in a set, you kind of judge whether to switch based on how much your other one of your characters got bodied in the first game. So like if e had lost that and it was like a, just sort of, a sort of nail biter uh, you know, ooh, it's like, oh, last hit. Yeah, but, yeah. But he got two socks. So, yeah. So there's a, 
there's that incentive sometimes that leans in uh, for how soon you might want to make the switch, but we'll see. We will see, we will see. Of course, Pelly going to be sticking tried and true to the site. Yeah, Pelly's actually gone through. Oh, uh, oh, uh, uh, right. Okay, so we're, bo see, we're both wrong. <laughs> Speaking of eight robs in top eight. <laughs> From one basic character, the Lucretio is laughing in the crowd. Rapid the Lucretio. What's, chat, what's going on? What's going on here? Look, have you guys seen the EMAS Rob? I, 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 well, I've not seen it. Eight, look, this could be the best Rob we've ever seen. It might be. It's rocking the Lucretio ult. Did you say Lucretio saw it in the crowd? Yeah, he is, <laughs> he is grinning right now. He is oh my grinning. God. What an interesting pick for me. That's the, um, I won't lie, I've not seen the EMAS Rob before. I guess just. Yeah, let's, see, I mean, let's, see what, let's see what it can do. Yeah, I mean, when you're, you know, as fundamentally strong as Emas, characters like this... Oh, my, my God! Hang on! Hang on! <laughs> his stock was deleted, though. Yeah, I feel like we I feel like we blinked and it's just like, hang on, why is Pelly down? I mean, Tech Chase into, into uh, Jab Lock, into Forward Smash. It's a Rob thing, but it's everyone. <laughs> everyone has the same, and Emas was ready for it with Rob as well. So, so clean. And, of course, I think Pelly has, you know, I think Bloom has beaten Pelly with Rob before. I oh, think, okay. I think it is like I don't think it's necessarily a problem character for Pelly, but I know that he's not exactly had like the cleanest record. Oh, oh my. Pelly is so good at that. It was just before he went to Smash World Tour that he started doing that consistently, where even if you tech, you still get back air and you still die. So it basically means you can't do anything. Yeah. If you miss the tech, you, you die. Are screwed. If you, <laughs> if you make the tech, you are also yeah, screwed. Oh, don't, don't, don't. even okay. Town and City's a generous side blast zones. Yeah, weren't, weren't good for that forward air, but the back air will. More than enough. Yeah, great awareness from Emas, knowing that Pelly had gone for that up B early on, knowing that the air dodge had to happen at some point, and of course, Rob's back air, it lasts a little while. It lasts just, I, not, I, not just, just, just a, just just a, a while. Just a bit. Just a, just a, bit. Just a bit. Couple of years. Yeah, I, I'm, it's kind of crazy, you know, we saw in terms of characters, like look at the stock count. Obviously, Pelly got that really good uh, sort of uh, tech reaction or sort of uh, set play with the back air, but Emas up a whole stock. Yeah, and this is the thing, and also it is worth noting that. I have seen Pelly speak before about how he struggles against that kind of playstyle where someone's got like five characters and he's got to adapt on yeah, the play. It's you know, he's a very studious player. He does, you know, study matchups. When you've got one where it's like, okay, well, there are three or four different characters that you can go. I think it is, oh, my, oh. yeah, lovely catch, lovely, lovely catch. But I think it is why he has historically struggled with Bloom because Bloom is just the epitome of, look how deep my pockets are. Yeah, and it's also in terms of, okay, so if you're the opponent, it's like, okay, I think Pelly's doing this well. Let me pick a character that negates what Pelly's doing well. Yes, exactly that. Although we are saying this, despite the pretty explosive start and how dominant Emas seems to have been, it is really even right now. Yeah, Pelly's caught right up. Jesus. And I love the fact that he's got, he's got the gyro in hand, meaning that Rob cannot use it, and he can still oh. spin dash. Yeah, Emas is trying to catch something on the, uh, the tech option there from Pelly, but... See just how close this is, trying to get the, <laughs> oh, <laughs> get the down tilt. Getting the down tilt, Gyro confirms. He must, he's looking like a Rob man. Oh, he was trying to go for it, yeah. Yeah, that was really, really good timing, just about avoiding that trap in that moment. You can see here just the slight stall. You know, Rob, you know, yes, he's vulnerable during his recovery, but in the same vein, he can just stall it in so many different ways. Yeah, it's... I'm just amazed we're seeing the EMAS Rob, really. I'm still not quite over <laughs> yeah, it. It's yeah. like, but particularly given that obviously oh. Pelly had such a big deficit, but he could snatch this game right now. He does! And then the forward air! The forward air master. Yeah, the, the, tri the tried and true. The spinning hedgehog. And not not the other kind of spinning <laughs> hedgehog. There's a lot of moves that spin. Yeah. Yeah, Pelly's getting so many kills with a. The with Pelly a, classic. That is the, that has become a Homegrown since. When did he start competing? Like 2015? I don't know. Homegrown since. Sonic was put in Smash. 1992, there you go. Son of the Hedgehog. Bless him. Oh dear. So, so what's he, what Emas going to do? Is oh, he he's, he's changed. He's changed colour. Ah, I, I love a good costume slash colour alt uh, counter pick. You know, the, the, the burden of Lucretio's colour might have just been too much. <laughs> no burner boost, that's the problem. No burner boost. If you're not, you're not burner not boosting as Red Rob. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a curse. It, it does, it does feel like you're, you're destined for a bad bracket look, but. We were saying before, the theme of Pelly's advantage state coming in already, you know, looking like Maze Beans at the start of the game, taking, putting 100% in the first 20 seconds on, uh, on Emas. And the thing is, it's so scary when you've got like almost the wacky camp to pick, it's like you want to at least get the one game because you know that they're going to adapt like afterwards. 
just like right now. I mean, like, did you, <laughs> did you see Emas's face there? He was, um, I think it shield poked that back air. I think he thought it did at least, because he looked like... <laughs> so wide-eyed. Anyway, so, yes, yeah, sorry. No, it's, it's, all, it's all well and good. But this, this is exactly the thing, though, because it's like, you had that game of like, haha, see my wacky Rob, and now Pelly's had a game to adapt, and you still lost game two. Yeah, it's, it's so hard. Oh god, Pelly's looking so strong. This might be curtains for Emas here in terms of, you know, obviously no Joker in play. Air yeah, back air. Classic. Yeah, and the thing is, it's, you know, it's the classic Sonic. You don't have to approach with Sonic. Oh, yeah, excellent DI as well. Pelly clearly played this matchup more than once. Oh, but does get caught slipping on ledge there. It's a raw side beat. I'm loving Luke Crusher's face every time something happens. He's just, he's just over there. He's just chuckling away. <laughs> he's just chuckling away at the raw side beat. But the thing is, of course, with Luke Crusher, is such a technical Rob, and Emas is obviously not a Rob main. So the intricate gyro combos might not be on display. But the, the problem is that Rob's B and Bs are more than good enough yeah, to Yeah, uh, exactly. To compete. You've got this like huge ceiling, but the floor is already so high that it's like, well, I don't really need this to be honest. Yeah, that's oh. the thing about Rob. Massive, massive ceiling, but also massive floor. So. Oh no! Oh, well, a low floor, it seems like. Yeah, we've, well, I've, I've seen Pe I've seen Pelly parry there, and uh, in my head now I'm just like, okay, this is over. Yeah, if you start parrying Rob there, it's like uh, that. that that's night. how. That's how you know. That's how you know. Oh no! Oh, we got gyro combos. Pelly gonna end it in style. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I don't want to say it too soon, but it feels like the beginning of the end for Emas here. Yeah, it just feels a bit like you know, it's more of a formality at this point that we play out the rest of the game. I mean. You know, Rob, explosive parity, <laughs> can zero I mean, to death. I mean, I mean, Whether Emas can zero to death, different question. Yeah, it's a good point. We've not actually seen any of the really early kills from uh, Rob that obviously makes him such a strong character with the gyro confirmed. Gyro in hand's not really been something Emas has used all that much in terms of combos. Oh, we're going to see another uh, Pelly forward. I was going to say, I thought we were going to see the tried and true. The Pelly classic. Ooh, an up tilt kill. That would have been cool. Oh, oh just, off the stage. Just, 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 just down tilt. Just carry him to the other side of the stage. Up pair, Town and City. I mean, even that's going to start killing soon. This yeah. is real scary. Oh, just, 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 you belong on the right side. Please follow me. One hit from pretty much anything in Sonic's kit, except that he's probably going to kill. Yeah, and we can Bro. see, and like, Pelly isn't even forcing the issue, and Sonic doesn't even force the issue, just side being through it. Oh, oh there you up go. Tilt. That will be it. 3-0 and a handshake there. 3 on a fist bump, I should say. Yeah, Pelly. and Emas just very swiftly leaving the premises. Yeah. It was worth a try. Yeah, it's curious. I mean, I just wonder what the mindset would be in terms of obviously trying with the with the Pyramithra. Didn't quite work out, but then sticking with the Rob for two games. Interesting. We didn't see any Joker, which uh, which you would expect. But unfortunately, that is Emas barring out a seventh place, and this yeah. is us barring out.